Okay, this cartoon is kind of a fun one because it, uh, it changes dramatically when you turn it upside down. What we're going to do for the eyes to start out is to make a line at an angle down like this and then one at a more severe angle and do the same thing on the other side, like this. And then to make the eyes, make the eyes tucked in here in that triangular part. And we like to make the eyes look more realistic, so leave a highlight in the corner of the eye in the same direction, same position to make it look more lifelike because your eyes are round and reflect light and you want to show that as you're drawing it to make it look more realistic. So there we have the eye with the highlight and then add a little bit of a curved line around here to make the whites of the eyes show also. Okay. Now he's got a fairly small nose and he's kind of got a quizzical look so you kind of do his mouth like that. Now his ears are just pretty basic ears so when you turn them upside down, he turns, the ears don't look any different. But the way you want to draw this guy is that he has some interesting features. First, you're going to put some eyes, lines above his eyes like this, a line in his forehead. And then he's got kind of a wrinkle in his, not a wrinkle, but a kind of a line in his forehead. And he's got really wild, crazy hair. And so it almost looks like he put his hand in a uh, light socket or something. So here's how we can draw that. Just draw it. Just go crazy with it. Just make it go up, straight up, all the way across to the other side. And just go crazy with it, because he's got really wild hair. All right? Okay, so there you have his hair. He's got a pretty basic chin. You just bring it down. It's kind of squared off chin, bring it around like that. And then we're going to kind of imply a little bit of his shirt, his uh, collar like this. And then his uh, uh, actual collars go down. Curve them like this, same thing on each side. So there you have it. He's kind of a quizzically looking guy with wild hair. And when you turn him upside down, he's got a Viking. And so this one is really, if you, I, I didn't have enough room on my board to draw the hair as high as I probably would have liked. If you give him his really wild hair, it gives him a really wild beard. So the length of the hair determines the length of his beard. And so just have some fun with that. It's, a, it's an interesting cartoon, and, and it usually draws quite a reaction when you turn it upside down.